Hello friends, in today's video, let's solve Geeks for Geeks problem of the day, which is two numbers with odd occurrences. So we are given an unsorted array of size n and that contains even number of occurrences for all numbers except two numbers. And we need to find the two numbers in decreasing order which has odd occurrences, correct? So as an example, I am taking this sample, okay, 1, 2, 2, 5, 3, 3, right? So for this case, our answer would be 5, 1, right? Because 5 and 1 only have odd occurrences and rest all elements that is 2 and 3 have even number of occurrences, right? So, see there are three approaches to solve this problem. I would uh, solve it using all the three approaches. Okay, I would uh, stay with the approach, right? So the first one is, we need to, uh, see, we need to find the uh, elements which are occurring only once, right? So for that you can use an hash map, right? You can use an hash map to store the frequencies and you can then finally return the elements, finally return two elements which have uh, odd, odd frequency, right? So the complexity of it would be time complexity would be go of n and the space complexity would also be go of n, right? Because you are using an hash map, an extra space. The second very good approach is based on a Zor approach, Zor, ba Zor based approach. Yeah, it is also a good approach. And yeah, see, one more approach is there. Uh, let me first, uh, uh, the, let's say this is the first approach. First approach is using an hash map. Okay, second approach is by sorting it. See, whenever you sort an array, uh, you get all of the same elements together, right? And whenever you find that there is there occurs uh, no element, um, you can yeah you can use sorting and then you can find out the element which has an odd frequency, right? So the comp time complexity would be go of n log n, and space complexity would be big go of one only, right? So this is the see this is the first approach using an hash map you store the frequencies and then you find the elements which have odd frequency. Second approach is using sorting. You uh, you then calculate you then do some basic iterations and then you find out the elements which have odd frequencies. So yeah, so this is an analog and time and the final approach and this is a very good approach I would say and this is a good I think good Zor based problem is a Zor based approach right now. Uh, how would you identify C? First of all, first of all, first thing to be noted is that uh, 2 or 2 is 0, 1 or 1 is 0. Uh, that means any number zord with itself give, will always give us 0, right? And any number zord with itself even number of times will always give us 0, right? So let's say uh, we, we are told in the question that there are only two elements with odd occurrences, right? Two elements with odd occurrences, correct? So first thing is clear that all of the remaining elements are having even occurrences, right? So let's say if I take the Zor of entire array, what is my array? 1, 2, 2, 5, 3 and 3. So basic Zor property is that if an if I Zor an element even number of times, same element even number of times, then the Zor is going to be 0 itself, right? So that means that these elements will cancel out each other. See, 2 will be cancelling out with another 2, 3 will be cancelling out with another 3, right? So if I calculate the Zor of entire array, the, the, the resultant would be the Zor of the two elements which are having odd occurrences, correct? See, in case if we add this type of array, 1, 1, 1, 5, 5, 5, 2, 2 and 3 and 3. So we can, we are sure that we are there are two elements which have odd occurrences which is 1 and 5 and rest of the elements have even occurrences. So definitely 2 Zor 2 is going to be 0, 3 Zor 3 is going to be 0 and among these odd occurrences, See this one and this one will be cancelling out each other. This phi and this phi would be cancelling out each other. And finally, the Zor of my array would be the Zor of the remaining one element, which is one Zor phi. So what is one Zor phi? One is this, phi is this, zero, zero, one. So that means four is my Zor. Zor is the, Zor is four. Correct. So first thing to be noted that I will calculate the Zor of array. Zor of an array. So my see I now know that Zor of the array would be the Zor of two elements which have having odd frequency right. So this is for sure for sure for this problem or any problem right any problem based on Zor this is for sure that Zor of my array would now be equal to Zor of elements having odd occurrences why because all of the even occurrences element would cancel out, cancel out themselves. So whatever would remain is the Zor of uh, the Zor of my array is the Zor of two elements having odd occurrences, right? Now, there is one again interesting thing to know, notice about it, right? So what is that interesting thing? So let's see, see, uh, yeah, so 1 Zor 5 is 4, correct? So we <coughs> now what, what, what we need to do next, see, now I have, what is my array again? Let me write it again, 1, 2, 2, 5, 3, 3, okay, 1, 2, 2, 5, 3, 
3 and zor of this array is 1 zor 5 which is 1 0 uh, sorry yeah 1 0 1 is 5 and 0 0 1 1 zor 1 is 0 0 and 1 which is equal to 4 so zor of my array is 4 correct now see zor i am i am writing the truth table of zor so 1 zor 0 is 1 0 zor 0 1 is 1 0 zor 0 is 0 and 1 zor 1 is 0 right so what can i deduce from this that two elements having same set bits if set bits are same uh, bits are same bits are same not set bits set bi bits are same then zor is 0 bits are different then my bit is uh, uh, then my set bits would be 1 right so in this case what it indicates see when i when i calculated my zor when i calculated my zor this means that the this this bit was different in both of the elements right so that why that is why in my result also i am getting this bit as 1 this bit as set right so either it would be 0 1 0 or it would be 0 1 right whatever might be the case i am i will get in my result the bit as set right so that means the in my see the zor of my array is 4 zor of my array is 4 i if i represent it in binary it would be 1 0 0 and if i am getting this bit as set that means that in the first element first element either as 0 and the second element as 1 or first element as either as 1 and 0 at this bit position correct so this is for sure again it seems to be confusing but you take one pen and paper and try doing the same again when i complete the solution okay so this is the this is done right now so now uh, we will do bucketing right we would take two buckets okay first now i know that the bit position the see i would find the i would find any set bit okay i would find any set bit either it would be the first bit set or the last bit set no, it does not matter right i would just find the first bit set or the last bit set of my zor of my array this is zor of my array right so in this only one there is one bit there is only one bit set right so and which is equal to 4 right value is equal to 4 value is 4 now with this value with this value i would check for all of the elements right see so one two two see i would <coughs> what i would do this is my first bucket this is my second bucket so what i told with this four with this four i am going to and i am going to and four with one what i would get zero so if it is a zero then i would I would zor with my first bucket. So first zor equal to a of i. What this is what I am what I am doing. So my first is now one, right? First is was initially zero. Initially second is also zero. When I end it, when I end it and I get a result zero, then I am zoring it with first. Now I am at the second one zero 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 one zero, right? So th uh, this is the value which I need to zor with each and every element of my array. Why I am doing this? I am I will explain you it in a bit moment, right? Again it is a zero. Then I would first zor it with so again a of i so one zor two so one zor two is three so now my first is changing to three correct now again the, the next element is again two so again it would be zero right four zor two is zero a uh, four sorry four and two is zero now I would what is my result this is my result I would again zor with two what I am getting zero zero one see see the magic see the magic of this thing see the magic of this bucket see the first bucket see that means that uh, this this two element this there the, the uh, two was occurring even number of times hence it cancelled out each other see initially my value was one right because one was occurring only once so in my first i have now one stored again when i zod it with two i got three when, but again two is occurring even number of times so that is why that is why it got cancelled with it itself but one remained as it is right so now let's let's see of five see five very again very important case what is my uh, value value is four right when i zor end with five i get one uh, sorry i means i get a positive value right i get some positive value i am ending this bitwise and bitwise and is a positive value that means i will push it in my second bucket so i would what i would do second similarly seconds are equal to a of i so second would bucket would have five now right now see we will continue the process what is my value 4 and 3 now i am at position number 3 3 is 0 1 1 correct so that means again it is yielding me 0 so then i would have to push it in my first bucket 
so first zor equal to a of i the so first is initially 1 one, 1 zor 3 what is 1 zor 3 0 0 1 and 0 1 1 so it is 2 correct so 1 zor 3 is 2 so now my first change is to 2 correct now again there is a 3 so my first is now 2 0 1 0 again i zor it with 3 so 0 1 1 what i get 0 0 1 see see again i am getting 1 right so in my second i have 5 and in my first i have 1 see i have found the two elements which have odd occurrences see see this is the magic right this is bit this is called bit magic right bit manipulation or bit magic whatever you want to say right, right so this is called bit manipulation techniques right now le uh, let me tell you how it worked see my value see my this is my zor uh, see zor of my array so first thing first thing very important point to be noted zor of my array zor of my array is equal to zor of two elements two elements having odd occurrences right so i hope this is clear i hope this statement is clear this statement must be clear to you then only you will get the problem in my further way right <coughs> now i find it out see zor i i told you the true table of zor so whenever there is there are two different elements then i will i, I will get zor as sorry zor as one right so in if in my zor this is my zor assume that this is my zor and if this bit is set assume that this is the zor right so if this bit is set then th that means that in my let's name a and b as the element which is occurring which have odd occurrences right so in my a either it would be zero and one it would be like this or like this right similar is the case with this so it would be like this right so one of the bits would be set and another would not be set right then only we will get zor in my result as zero now we already know that all of the elements having even occurrences will cancel out will cancel out each other right zor of them would be definitely be zero they will cancel out each other so i am partitioning so there would be only two buckets one with one having the zero and one having one right see what i mean to say that see see so there would be some elements there would be some see uh, the groups are based on this only see one of the element has zero as set bit one of the element has one as set bit so some of the elements will fall in this group some of the elements will fall in this group but ultimately ultimately see if two if one of my two is falling in this group if one of my two is falling in this group then definitely the second two will also be falling in this group see if my zor was four zor result was four uh, sorry the value was four the set bit value was four and if i zor if i end with two then i am getting zero right so if one of the two is falling in this, this bucket then definitely the second two will always always fall in this bucket so when i zor it them when i zor the result this would be ultimately zero and finally what i would get i would get one and five which i got in above sample right finally in my result i would have one and five stored correct so yeah this is a good problem and in case if you have any doubts comment it down i would try to explain it again and i would try to resolve your doubts but do not uh, see let me show you the code now so first i am taking first and second variables as zero this would be my result i would i am taking one zori variable which is storing the zor of my array right now see this is a uh, this is what i am calculating any set bit any bit which is set in my zor so this is a uh, if my if the bit is set then I, I am taking this any bit as right any bit as one less than i see how i am doing this uh, you need to be aware about the bit manipulation techniques right assume that this is my okay this is my zor zor of my array right i am i need see <coughs> this is the zeroth bit position first second third and fourth so since uh, it is an integer i am taking i am 30 i am starting from 31th bit right so then i when i reach 2 i get i get set one less than i means left shift of one by i times so whenever my i is 2 one less than i would be 100 zero, zero, correct so and again all of the zeros appended further and when i end it with this i am i will get set okay i will get a positive value right if i get a positive value that means that that bit would be set and 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 the value of that bit would be one less than i correct what is this one less than i which is four right so this value is four see the one less than i one less than le one left shift by i is four right so this is the value which i would store in my any bit right now then i would partition it using two groups first see if my array of i and any bit is a positive value then it i am zoring it with the first and else i am zoring it with the second and finally we need to return in a decreasing order right so that is why i am checking this condition so this is a very simple problem
and yeah, there is one more formula which would you use, which you would often see to calculate the leftmost set bit, right? So for calculating the leftmost set uh, set bit, you need to take care of this. Okay, uh, but I would recommend you to solve it using this. It is not increasing any complexity, by the way, right? So then you would have a complete understanding of the problem. So I would paste the code in the description. Do not forget to subscribe the channel and like the content. In case if you have any doubts, comment it down. I would try to solve them. Thank you for watching.